Okay, so uh, right now we're at a point where we have uh, a colorized exterior model and we want to translate that into our elevations, right? Um, eleva schematic design elevations are a little funny um, because they're not necessarily super accurate. So let me just kind of Google one real quick. Design elevations. Um, they're probably going to come out pretty... Uh, some of them... So schematic design... Uh, Sorry, schematic design elevations can come out like anywhere on the spectrum from like fully rendered and, and representational to relatively technical in this sort of case. Um, but generally speaking, Revit is very good at falling right smack in the middle with something kind of like this. So um, it colorizes, it can actually show you material textures, it does some shadows and stuff like that, um, but it doesn't really you know, do like the full rendering in, in elevation, okay? so. So this is kind of the objective we're sort of going for is something like this. So let's go back into our model and uh, we're going to look at our elevation sheet and start to move that direction. I think this was it. Yeah. Uh, I have a yes. Sorry. When your wall doesn't have the option to flip. Um, I will take a look at it. Okay. Um, so, so guys, we have to talk about a few things regarding these view settings. Um, there is a, a thing called uh, a view template, which will allow you to set exactly the same settings for each of your views. Okay, so I'll kind of walk you through setting up how to turn on some shadows and colors in one view, and then I'm going to show you how to apply the view template to the other views. Um, so anyway, let's click on this view. and. Uh, Let's go to, um, yeah, scroll down a little bit to identity data and click on the, the button next to view template. So um, what this does for us is it kind of presets a few things, but I want to um, show you specifically where the settings are. If you click on architectural presentation elevation, presentation elevations generally fall, you know, in like the colorized elevation category. Like that's what presentation elevations are. Um, so if you click on that, you'll see that a lot of the information that you uh, sort of always see in other menus, right? Like your properties menu uh, and stuff like that exists here. So we have, um, where was it? Oh yeah, sorry, uh, display model. So, or not display model, um, model display, yeah display model, model display. Yeah, they, they made this really easy to understand. Um, so model display is the same thing as your, your views display options, right? So um, what we're going to do is make sure that this is set to um, something, in this case, shaded. Um, and uh, well, no, let's leave it on consistent colors because we set it up for consistent colors. So let's just do that. Um, so we're going to do consistent colors. And uh, the other thing I want you to turn on, oh no, just hit OK after that, and then click on Shadows. So Shadows is really important. Um, all you have to do is just make sure that the checkbox for Cast Shadows is on. Um, you can show ambient shadows if you want, where it's going to show like more of a diffuse shadow thing. I'll show you what they both look like. Um, so go ahead and hit OK on that. And then I want you to um, uh, make a duplicate of this, because I want two elevation types, right? We're gonna do one with regular shadows and one with ambient shadows. So um, if you need to duplicate a, a view template, just click on the duplicate right here. And I'm gonna call this um, architectural pres, I'm gonna shorten it to just pres, um, elevation ambient, not ambient, ambient. Okay, um, and then go back to shadows, and then go back to uh, check on show ambient shadows, and hit OK. Clear enough? Do I need to show you again? Well, we didn't change anything except for that one checkbox. Okay, so architectural presentation elevation, all I did was show you, oh, we did change one thing. Um, I went to model display, and I changed it to consistent colors rather than shaded. 
Okay, and then I duplicated that and I made the ambient shadow option and I went into shadows and I checked on show ambient shadows. All right, so let's take a look at, yeah? Uh, it's this little button right there, duplicate. Okay, so um, to sort of sum up everything that we just did, um, that is, oh, we have the scale wrong. That's right. Um, so basically uh, what you're seeing here is, um, yeah, so what it did was, the one thing I forgot to change was the scale because our view scale was 3 sixteenths of an inch. So I'm going to open that up again and switch this back to 3 sixteenths. Hit OK, and it's going um, to get bigger. Okay. Oh, you know what? There's one other thing. Sorry, guys. I know I'm doing this real choppy. I'll, I'll remind you of everything later. Um, open this up. Go to Shadows. Um, I want to show ambient shadows, but I don't want to show the sharp shadows. So uncheck Cast Shadows. Okay, and what you're going to see is that, you know, wherever there are, there's uh, depth in the elevation, it shows with this little sort of ambient shadow. Um, I don't want to say glow. It's the inverse of a glow. It's a shadow. Um, and then uh, I want to show you just by, you know, contrast what the other one looks like. So I'm going to select this view, temp uh, this view, go to view template, and apply the architectural presentation elevation and hit OK. Realized I uh, didn't change my scale again, so I'll hit OK on that. Yeah, there. Okay, so those are the two types of um, elevations that we're working with. We have ambient shadows on the left, and we have cast shadows on the right. One more thing. This is up to you guys to use it how you wish. Um, the one thing you can do with any of these shadows is you can change um, their density. I just totally forget all the time where it is. Um, give me a sec. That's right. Um, it's in uh, lighting. So you have to scroll down to lighting and edit that. And you can reduce the shadow amount and it's going to create a lighter shadow. So like what you're seeing over here, see how dark that is on the right hand side? Um, just change your shadows to be like 20 or 10 and it lightens it up quite a bit. Right? Just enough so that you can see the shadow, you can see the depth of the elevation, but not enough that it overwhelms it and erases all the architectural character underneath. Questions? No, Kevin. All right. Now we've got two people responding. Two whole people. All right. OK, cool. So no questions then. Um, I'd like to see all four of your elevations be colorized and shadowed in one of these ways. doesn't matter which. I'll leave it to you.